Hello and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Today's tutorial was requested from someone I know, so um, this is for them mainly. But um, I've noticed on things like MySpace and YouTube, now that you can upload profile pictures to YouTube, um, you often get an animated GIF very similar to this, where it will scroll through either a variety of images or a variety of variations on an image. So what I've done here, I've constructed a profile picture that cycles through um, just a variety of colours while the background image actually remains the same. And I'm going to show you how to make a similar image. Um, this is an animated GIF tutorial, and there are several of these already on YouTube, but this is um, just a particular effect that I'm trying to show. Um, and just for those that aren't aware, an animated GIF um, isn't made using um, Premiere Pro or Windows Movie Maker or any movie making kind of software. It's not a movie file at all or a film file at all. It's actually just a bog standard image. Um, so it can be hosted on websites um, and it can be sent in emails and it will animate itself like this and it will just keep on looping. So that's enough of the uh, preamble. The first thing you're going to need is a profile picture. Now before I go any further with this profile picture, I should point out that everything that makes this image as eye-catching as it is, um, well to be honest I can't take any credit for it whatsoever. Um, the concept behind it, the um, method for it, um, the resources you, you need to do this, all of that stuff is provided by um, and was you know put together by Josh Sommers. Um, the only thing that I've contribute to making this image so eye-catching is my own handsome face. But Josh Sommers is the guy that, um, if you remember from the Steve Jobs tutorial, um, he did the original poison apple, uh, poisonous apple image that was the inspiration for the Steve Jobs tutorial. Um, so I'm going to put a link in the video description to show you to his absolutely stunning website once more, um, but also to the tutorial that will show you how to make this kind of um, spiral and um, what's known as the Drost effect. Um, it's using a, a plugin called MathMap. But anyway, that's enough about that. Um, you can see here my profile picture is roughly 800 by 800 pixels. Now, we are going to make an image that's got 10 layers to it. Um, and really, that's going to take up a lot of memory. Um, you can see at the moment, um, the background image is already um, 6.5 megabytes. If I times that by 10, that's going to be a 60 megabyte picture which is massive so it really doesn't need to be this big if it's only going to be a profile picture so I'm going to make it much smaller to begin with something much more like a thumbnail that you'd see on MySpace or YouTube uh, I'm going to make it 200 by 200 so now it's uh, a nice manageable size for you know forums and whatever the next thing we need to do is duplicate the layers so we're going to press our duplicate layer button down here and I want 10 layers and um, you can have more or less than 10 you know it doesn't have to be 10 I just quite like to use 10 as it is and I'm just gonna make every layer except the one I want to work on at the moment invisible and if you remember we do that just by clicking on the eyeball so this is the only layer that we've got selected it's the only layer that's visible um, now I don't mind that layer being that color so I don't really need to do anything to this image at all so I'll move on to the next one and I'll make that visible and the next thing we need to do is right click on the image and we're going to go to colors and hue and saturation and what we're going to do is mess around with the hue and we're going to change the hue for each of these layers and that will change the, the color so I'm going to whack this up to about 30 roughly it doesn't have to be precise um, and then I'm just going to move on to the next layer and do the same again so click on it change the hue this time to roughly 60 um, I usually jump up in increments of about 30 oh jumped up massively there um, but you know there's no science to it you know just do whatever colors you want really um, so this one I'll jump up to about 90 thereabouts and you can see what's happening is the colors are gradually changing so I'm just going to quickly rattle through this um, without really stopping to explain what I'm doing because it should be pretty self-explanatory um, if I am going too fast and you have any questions don't be afraid to comment um, I do you know, answer whatever questions I can. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, you'll notice that I'm now coming from the other end because you know this is a cycle, so it doesn't really matter if you're going circular. And we want to start getting a kind of purple colour. And finally, we're going to want a kind of reddish colour as we finish off the spectrum. 
Um, what I'm going to start to do is just turn the saturation up a bit to bring the red out. And our final one. I'm sorry that I'm rushing this, but I'm desperately trying to get it done in under 10 minutes as well. Okay, so there we've got, um, it should be pretty clear to see, a nice kind of rainbow of colours, um, a whole kind of spectrum of layer images. Now, what we need to do is go to Filters and Animation. And the first thing that we're going to do to, after we've done this quite arduous task is optimise for GIF. And what that will do is just reduce the size of the image so far. So once that green bar has gone along, a new image is going to jump up, so I can just get rid of this one. And you'll see it's still got all of the same information, it's still got all of the layers, but what it's done, it's added um, a time limit for the duration for each frame. And you can see it says 100 milliseconds, and then combining brackets next to it as well. Um, you can change this 100 milliseconds to whatever you want. You can change it to 50 or 1000 to make it go faster or slower respectively. And the next thing we're going to do, just very quickly to check that this is working, we're going to go to filters and animation again and this time click on playback. And what will happen is <coughs> excuse me, um, we can press play on this and it will just cycle through the image and it will show us what it will look like when it's finished. So there we go. Um, that looks pretty stunning. Um, it's exactly the effect we're after so we know it's working and you can just see the frames it's going through. So I'll just get rid of that and that's literally everything that we need to do the final thing that we need to do and we need to make sure we do this absolutely perfectly is to save it properly now when we go to file and save as we do not want to save it as a JPEG normally once you finish an image in the, in, in the GIMP you're going to want to save it as a JPEG or a PNG file what we want to do is save it as a GIF because that will store the layer information as animation frames so I'm going to call this color cycle and dot gif g i f oh, g i f and then once I press that uh, enter <coughs> we're gonna get this export file doc come up and or dialog come up rather and instead of merge visible layers which will flatten the image we want to save as an animation and then export it and one more thing will come up um, we want to make sure that it's going to loop forever and we want to make sure that this one here, the frame disposal, is one frame per layer. So it will replace the layers. So that will just keep on cycling through each of those images. So once we press save, um, that should be the job done. Now if you just open up where I saved that. Oh, where did I save it? This will eat into the uh, 10 minutes no doubt. Is it in work in progress? Nope. Is it in... I've no idea what... There it is. And there we have it. Cycling through um, and only a slight hiccup. Anyway, I hope you've had fun um, learning how to do this. It's quite an effective little trick and I now wholeheartedly expect to see every single person that views this tutorial using that effect for their profile picture. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.